Hi friends, uh, today I will be discussing with you all the question number 7 from the book The distance between two negatively charged dust particle is 1 mm and they repel each other with a force of 4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 Newton If the charge on one particle is 4 times that of the other then find out the number of electrons charging them separately the charge on electron is 5 by 3 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb now as per the question we have got two dust particle let me make these two dust particle these dust particle one has got uh, these two dust particles are separated by a distance of uh, 1 millimeter now here you should know that all the distances must be taken in a psi system of units so 1 milli stands for 10 to the power of minus 3 so it becomes 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter and the question says the charge of one particle charge of one particle is four times the charge of other particle times four times charge of other particle now this charge of other particle now if I can if I consider the charge of one particle to be Q so the charge of one particle that is Q1 must be equals to Q then the charge of other particle Q2 must be equals to 4 times of Q so if this is Q1 then I am considering it to be Q then Q2 will automatically be 4 times of Q now the force of repulsion as per the question the force of repulsion between the, these two dust particles happens to be 4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 Newton so this is the force of repulsion between these two dust particles now as per the theory of uh, as per the theory of coulombs or coulombs laws of electrostatics it states that the force between any two point charges is given by f is equals to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r where q1 is the magnitude of charge of one dust particle or one point charge q2 is the charge of another dust particle or my second point charge now this force happens to be in this question 4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 newton 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant and has got a value of 9 into 10 to the power of 9 q1 happens to be q q2 happens to be 4 times of q and the distance between them happens to be 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 whole square q1 q2 by r square is the formula so substituting it over there this is the formula this is the substitution in that particular formula and then I am going to solve that so it will be 4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 is equals to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into 4 q square upon 10 to the power of minus 6 isn't it therefore 4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 upon 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into 4 must be equals to q square or q square will be equals to 1 by 9 into 10 raised to the power of minus 11 and minus 9 or q square will be equals to 1 by 9 into 1 by 9 into 10 to the power of minus 20 
therefore q is equals to 1 by 3 into 10 to the power of minus 10 now q happens to be the charge of one dust particle then the charge of the second dust particle will be 4 times of q so it will be eventually 4 by 3 into 10 raised to the power of minus 10 coulomb don't forget to mention the units without unit the answer are always considered as wrong now the question does not finishes over here the question never asked us the charge the question was interested in finding out the number of electrons that these dust particle carries now from the theory of quantization what does the theory of quantization says the charges are available as an integral multiple of elementary unit of charge that is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 and is denoted as e so e is equals to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb and this elementary unit of charge is carried by an electron hence the charge carried by an electron happens to be the minimum charge possessed by any independent particle and that happens to be 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb so the charge carried by one dust particle is 1 by 3 into 10 to the power of minus 19 is equals to the number of electrons we are looking to find out and e was the charge carried by one electron and as per the question that is 5 by 3 into 10 raised to the power of 10 raised to the power of minus 19 now the charge carried by one dust particle was 1 by 3 into 10 raised to the power of minus 10 rearranging this term in order to get n so i will get n as 1 by 5 into 10 raised to the power of minus 10 upon 10 to the power of minus 19 or 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of 9 or simply 2 into 10 to the power of 8 electrons that is the charge carried by the first dust particle whereas the sorry the number of electrons carried by the first dust particle whereas for the second dust particle it was four times of this value so the second the second dust particle must be carrying 4 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons this is the number of electrons carried by carried by second dust particle i hope that solves your problem thank you